I'm going to a place where robots have taken over some jobs. Let's go. Today I'm heading over to San Francisco and taking BART there is the least painful way. I'm going to this restaurant that created a machine that will make a burger for you including grilling the patty and also assembling it. Damn. Technically speaking, you know which jobs are likely going to go first are the ones that you don't have to think much in. Yes, you can argue that robots are taking away jobs, but overall, once everything is settled down, it's going to lead to a higher quality of life for everybody. Yeah. Uh. So this is pretty bad news for those who lost a job already. Think about those automated cashier jobs that are lost. Anything that is super repetitive could be imitated by a machine. All you need is some image recognition, some programming, some motors, and then all of these could be replaced. So what do you do about this? I think the foolproof against losing your job to robots is to always learn a new skill. You shouldn't be stagnating anyway. Every single day, strive to learn something new. This is of course a medium to medium long-term solution because eventually, the intelligence of robots could catch up. Before we reach that point where robots become intelligent, let's check out this creator robot burger thing. That's what I came here for. There it is for you guys flipping burgers. This thing is like the beginning, I think. Just let us know. We have to order for you. Okay. Would that be all for you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This place is called Creator and they sell their burgers for about $6 each. As you can see here, they have a lot of burger ingredients pre-prepared so that you can just load them up into the machine like cartridges. This is what the machine looks like. It has clear panels covering most of the machine so you can see what's going on underneath. The machine has a lot of wood accents and rounded corners. I say they put a lot of attention into the aesthetics of this machine. This is the automated tray dispenser. The conveyor is not really a belt, but a bunch of little fingers that just turns and pushes the tray along. Here you see an employee loading up a bun cartridge. Now we don't see if there was a machine that automatically made these buns. For all we know, these buns might have been made by an employee. The guillotine comes down and vibrates a little bit like this to cut the bun in half. You can see the top bun on the front, but the bottom of the bun is behind. These copper flaps guide the bun along the vertical grill and also applies a little bit of pressure onto it so that it would grill evenly. When it's done, it drops it into the tray, moves along the conveyor belt. Here are all the sauces that are used. Note that the dispenser of this nozzle is being moved radially and it's just trying to just squirt a whole bunch of it onto that bun. I would say it doesn't look too accurate, kind of messy actually. Here's a pickle slicer and they slice them one at a time as you use them. Same thing with the tomatoes, you can see the top and bottom of the tomatoes are pre-sliced off. Someone had to do that. Seems like this machine is pretty high maintenance, it gets dirty pretty quickly. There are employees standing by to clean it all the time. Dropping some pre-cut lettuce, over here they do grate the cheese from a solid block and then drop some of that grated cheese onto the bun and then it's on to some sort of hot air cheese melter thing. It looks like it melted the cheese sufficiently. Notice that aluminum hook that guides the tray into position ready for the patty. The patty is grilled by a robot and now it's coming out and gets dropped onto the bun and it pushes it out. Now an employee picks it up and puts it on a wooden tray. Francis, yeah. thank you. Thank you. The burger. Cross section. Oh, apparently, you have to get your own ketchup. Tastes fine. Weekday vegan. That is the robot burger for you. Well, to me, that restaurant certainly is not taking away any jobs. You can see like eight to 10 employees tending to the machine. I almost feel like that machine actually creates more jobs because it needs so much cleaning. 